Morning, everyone. Morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning's prayer. So let us be quiet before the Lord, just for a moment, and welcome his presence with us. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In, this darkness, in the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on may we reflect your glory this day and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed be god forever glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this night has passed and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this day, new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now hear the words of Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God. For to you I make this prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those at work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful lo the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their hearts is destruction. Their throat is an open sculpture, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of many tr transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. But let those who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing their joy forever. You will, you will shelter them. For those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteousness. And with your favour you will defend them as the shield. Lord, protect us from all deceit of flattering tongues and lying lips. Give the, us the words of life to speak your truth and bless your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, shall be forever. Amen. Hear the words of Isaiah 1, verses 21 to the end. How the faithful city has become a whore. She that was full of justice, righteous lodged in her, but now murderous. Your silver has come, become dross. Your wine is mixed with water. Your princes are rebels and the companion of thieves. Everyone loves a bribe and runs after gifts. They do not defend the orphan and the widow's cause does not come before them. Therefore, says the Sovereign, the Lord of hosts, the Mighty One of Israel, Ah, I will pour out my wrath on my enemies and avenge myself on my foes. 
I will turn my hand against you. I will smelt away your dross as with lie and remove all your ally. I will restore your judges as at the first and your counsellors as at the beginning. Afterwards you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed by justice and those in a heart who repent by righteousness. But rebels and sinners shall be destroyed together and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For you shall be ashamed of the oaks in which you delighted and you shall blush for the gardens that you have chosen. Chosen, For you shall be like an oak whose leaf withers and like a garden without water. The strong shall become like tinder and their work like a spark. They and their work shall burn up, with no one to quench them. My prayers came to you in your holy temple, and you brought up my life from the depths. I called to you, O God, out of my distress, and you answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep and into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away. How shall I ever look upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me. The deep was around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up my life from the depths, O God. As my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, O God, and my prayer came to you in your holy temple. With the voice of thanksgiving, I will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading today is taken from Matthew verses, uh, chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who was born the King of Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, have come to pay him on homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. He told them, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of, Judea, of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall become an heir, and the shepherd and who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for this child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him on homage. When they heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it had stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and gave him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child, to destroy him. So he took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. 
my lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing of your love forever, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims the truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break before us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes I, yet shall they live. Now we come to our time of intercessory prayer. Father God, as we start this day, we ask that you lead and guide us. In everything we do, may it be pleasing in your sight. Lord, speak to us so we may know your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in the world waking up in terror, hunger and fear. Lord, may you be with them and bring them through their troubles. Lord, we pray for peace and unity where they are and that your justice will prevail. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our community and the family of St Andrews. We pray for the renewing of your spirit here, for the ministries this week, particularly seeing now this morning. Bless those who are leading and open the ears of those who attend so that they can come to know of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, your, hear our prayer. collect for today. It's eternal God, our maker and redeemer, grant us with all the faithful departed the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection. The last day when you gather up all things in Christ, we m may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. So uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see some of you on Sunday. Bye for now.